Recording. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, and temperature is 42 degrees. And uh, a little overcast over Pikes Peak this morning. Can't even see it. It's over there behind those clouds. So, can't see it. <laughs> I'm going to be heading out to Clear Creek Campground, which is a bit north of Vienna Vista and south of Twin Lakes, Colorado. I'm going to hook up and see my friend Judd Rose. Check out his campsite, get some breakfast, and come back before the rain comes. Beautiful morning here. It'll probably get a little bit colder when I get into Lake George. I'm going to guess the temperatures there are probably around 37 or so degrees. But it'll warm up later today. We have a cold front coming in, so uh, expected rain this afternoon. Currently westbound on Highway 24. Uh, west of Woodland Park, headed towards Divide, Colorado. Recording. Just going through a little town called Florescent. There is the uh, Florescent uh, Fossil Beds National Monument in this area. Nice little national park to check out if you ever get in the area. And um, if you ever come through here and need a cup of coffee, great little place right here on the right. Call the coffee house. Oh, it doesn't look like it's even open. It's weird. Um, town is very small, as you can see. Just a block or two, and that's it. And the next city we'll be going through will be Lake George. Let's see what the temperature is saying. Well, actually, it says it's 52, so it must be warming up. We'll see what it is in Lake George. Typically, it's a lot colder there. By the way, for you nerds like me, internet is uh, distributed via point to point. Here's one of the points right here on the pole. They're doing sectorized uh, Wi Fi, LTE Wi Fi out here. So I guess the temperature must be warming up because I'm increasing in elevation and I'm at, well, I'm at 50 degrees, so it did come down a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's definitely warming up. And uh, coming up to Wilkerson's Pass, which is I think around 10 or 11,000 feet or something, there'll be a sign coming up here in just a second. Could be even 12,000, I just don't remember. But what an amazing view to the west of this pass. When you stop at this uh, rest stop here, you can actually take some pretty cool photos. So the elevation here is, okay, 9,507 feet. And look at the view of the mountains right there. Just incredible. Sometimes you'll see hot air balloons taking off early this morning, but uh, don't know if we'll see them today. It is Sunday, so we'll keep an eye out. If it's a windy day, forget it. It doesn't seem to be too windy, so there might be some hot air balloons taking off. Quick glance, I don't see any in the air, so we're either too early or they already took off. Well, if they already took off, we'd see them. I don't see them. So, um, or they're not doing it today. Look at the view. We'll be descending now. And up ahead is Hartzell, Colorado. Recording. Just coming into Hartzell, intersection of 9 and 24. 9 takes you down to Canyon City. Again, a very small town. Probably less than 50 people living here.
and Highway 9 northbound is coming up here, which takes you over to Breckenridge. Well, we're going to continue heading west on 24 into Johnson City, Buena Vista area, and then we'll be heading north, headed towards Clear Creek Campground site, which is where Judd is camping out. Recording. Okay, my turn off to Clear Creek campsite is about half a mile ahead. I'll go ahead and roll here. I hope I'm making the right turn. I'm doing, kind of doing this by memory with a little bit of guidance. I'm, I'm assuming I got the right spot. It's been a couple years since I've been here. I used uh, the GPS turn left onto County Route 390. Um, information from a photo I took from here before to find it. So Clear Creek Reservoir, that sounds like it's it. All right, cool. This was a kind of crappy road, but we shall see how bad it is today. What does that say? No motorcycles? Oh, no ATVs. Okay. Miles. The destination is on your left. There's the reservoir. So Judd's got a really, really beautiful camp spot. He, um, when I was here a year or two ago, it was a magnificent spot. So get a chance to see it. Uh, the road's not too bad. It's kind of like a packed, um, hard dirt. They may have actually put a layer of oil down. Sometimes they spray like an oil to try to keep it, you know, a little on the harder side and from blowing away. But it can be very slippery, so you got to be careful. It's a pretty cool little campsite. It's quiet. I don't think there's even a charge to use this um, campsite. I have to ask Judd when we when I get there. In one mile, the destination is on your left. Guess I'll turn my heated grips off. It's starting to warm up. What are we at? Uh, uh oh, what did I just push here? Dimmer. <laughs> I don't even know what the heck I just pushed. It says dimmer. I've never even seen that feature on this bike. Must be the uh, display dimmer. There we go, info, 57 degrees. Yeah, it has warmed up for sure. Okay, let's see if I could find 
the campsite. Looks like it's over here on the left. And I'll probably be turning here shortly. Maybe here? No, not here. The destination is on your left. Arrived. I think Judge just sent me a message. Okay, I think it's the turn off right here. There he is. I see his trailer right here. What a great spot. Good morning. Hey, how you doing? What's up, man? Good okay. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is definitely this is the same spot I think. Well yeah, it was the only difference is I was just a little further up, but this guy was already here. I was kind of up a little bit more, but uh, cool. I remember that yeah. Great spot. Four or five days. Cool. I'm gonna move up just a little bit. I, or I may go all the way up forward and, and then put my chair and stuff up there and then I can have that little spot right up there. Cool. And then this will be, you know, for whoever wants to come. All right. Well, let me go ahead and kill this. Recording. Okay. Well, we're just getting ready to leave the campsite here. Judd's got the Harley out and we're going into town for breakfast. Okay. Man, these mosquitoes are bad out here. Holy smokes. Damn.
Oh, uh, there's the reservoir. <clears throat> to Rooster Crow Cafe Buena Vista CO. In 1.3 miles, turn right onto US Highway 24 North. Recording. Just getting into Buena Vista again, and we're going to be turning into the restaurant here just in a moment. I just had a uh, great uh, breakfast over at that uh, place in, in uh, like, uh, or Pina Vista, that's it. And uh, we're going up to Cottonwood Pass and uh, we've got about another 4.3 miles to go. These are some of the nice switchbacks on the way up. For those of you in the know, can appreciate this. And there's Judd. Enjoying his Harley. A lot of the people coming back from a long 4th of July weekend. A lot of campers, so looks like I'm going to get caught in traffic on the way coming back. Um, temp let's see, time is 12.08 p.m. And the temperature is 66 degrees, so it has warmed up significantly. be at the pass in about five minutes. Meantime, enjoy the views. Boy, a lot of brake burning going on here. People don't know how to engine brake.
Should be able to see Cottonwood Pass here shortly. Getting colder. Uh, what are we at? Six, 61. I think there's a little delay in the readout, but it is a little bit cooler. All right, here comes the bicycle. It's hauling butt here. All right. I can see the pass. A couple more switchbacks and we'll be there. So, right about now. You'll see it. Yeah, right there on top where those cars are at. That's where we're going to stop. Hope there's parking up there. In one mile, take a slight left turn onto Continental Divide National Scenic Trail. Getting colder, feel it, 59 degrees, feels good. And we're on the home stretch. weird. My music is all messed Take up. Take a slight left turn onto Continental Divide National Scenic Trail. Then the destination is on your right. God, we still got some snow here. Look at that. The destination is on your right. Cottonwood Pass. Arrived. Recording. Okay, western break is over. Uh, heading back east. 
I'm going to go back over Cottonwood Pass. And then John and I are going to split apart in Buena Vista and I'll be heading back to Woodland Park. I'm going to try to get back before the supposed rainstorm is supposed to come. we got a cold front coming in. So, doesn't look like it's coming, but I don't know. The other thing too is traffic's going to be really bad on the way back. Everybody's coming back to Colorado Springs and they take this route and it's going to be all jammed up. So, I'm not looking forward to that at all. Temperature says it's 59 degrees, so still nice and pleasant. Of course, we are up pretty high right now. Once we uh, get down there, it's going to be in the upper 60s. Probably more like lower 70s. <clears throat> it's a good scene, Judd. Judd, if you're watching this, it was a great pleasure to meet up with you. I'm glad you made it back to Colorado. You definitely know how to pick the spots. So uh, congratulations on uh, nailing that premier camping spot along uh, Clear Creek River again. And uh, sorry I gotta leave so soon, but you gotta head back to Florida. Uh, and uh, make sure you hook up with Randy and say hi to him as well. I'm sorry to get a chance to see Howard, but uh, yeah, maybe while you're visiting Randy, uh, we, I can help make that connection. Howard's a, my oldest, long, longest known friend. Not oldest, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Howard. Longest known friend. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that group shot. That's, that's the church group, I'm sure. Okay. Cottonwood Pass. Down we go. What a sight, eh? Gonna be a lot of traffic now. It's already starting to warm up. We're at 60 now. <laughs> Check this out. An El Camino raised. Alrighty, just getting back into Woodland Park and it was a great day. I had some bad weather I was facing, but you know, um, running the weather radar and timing, everything is key. So it, it came through here, um, but I kind of just slowed it down a little bit and let it pass and um, I'm chasing it basically. Uh, can't really see it right now, but right now to, to, it's a really bad storm. Uh, it's got a lot of purple in it uh, down in the spring, so it took a little bit of a downpour in along with thunder and lightning, but uh, didn't see one drop, so I made it. It's going to be a lot of traffic here, I'm sure, as everybody's coming back from the holidays. But uh, anyway, just uh, thanks for watching, and and uh, it's a wrap for today. I think I want to stop at uh, Beer Works and have a refreshment, and then uh, get home, make some dinner. Take care.